it's so good to see you here. This is the place to be for every parent or caregiver who wants the very best from their little one's sleep. So in this episode, we're gonna be talking all about twins and how we can get twins sleeping um, without disturbing each other and perhaps without tag teaming you as well. <laughs> so stick around, we're gonna cover all the top tips for getting twins to sleep well. Okay, so the first tip I have for you is to try to keep twins on the same schedule. Yes, you might have one that's quite a good sleeper and one that's not such a good sleeper, but just because one seems to be awake right now and the other needs to, to have a nap, it's gonna leave you in quite a juggle and it could be pretty messy. And whilst I'm a big fan of meeting the individual child's needs, if you are a parent or a caregiver of twins or multiples, you may have triplets, it is really difficult if you're trying to, to you know, manage two or more different schedules. It's hard enough when you have two young children close in age uh, that aren't twins, like I did. And you know, you had, have a time where, well, I had a time where I had one on two naps a day, one on one nap a day. It was like someone's always napping and I'm trying to accommodate something all the time. Um, and actually, I think that's harder. When you have twins and you can get them onto the same schedule, it will make life a lot easier. So keep them on the same schedule as much as you possibly can. Obviously give or take a number of minutes, but on the whole, you wanna have the same, roughly the same time that you start the day, roughly the same time for nap times, and absolutely for meal times as well. So get into that rhythm with them. They will soon get into a rhythm if you lead the way with that. So sleep schedule is number one. And the next thing I'm gonna suggest is, if your twins are disturbing each other a lot in sleep, is it possible temporarily to separate them? Now I'm taking the assumption here that they are room sharing. Um, it may be that they're in the same room with parents, maybe that they're in their own room together. Is it feasible that they could be in separate rooms to sleep in the short term, particularly if you're working through some kind of sleep shaping method um, and implementing a, a particular process with one or both of them. So it could be beneficial to temporarily separate them, work on that, improve things, and then bring them back together. This also can uh, work really well for nap times. So it might be that bedtime, they have their room, they have their sleep spaces, and that's fine. But for naps, it might be that one is a better napper than the other, and it just feels better, and it feels more manageable for you to have them napping in two different rooms. That's absolutely fine. And don't worry about, well, what if it's not the same room as sleep? It's fine, put the easier sleeper in the different location and keep the usual sleep location consistent for the one who finds sleep more challenging. And the other thing is to help one than the other. If they need your assistance, you know, you, you're not superhuman, you can't stretch yourself between them constantly. So if you need to, for instance, change one nappy and the other one is crying and there's nobody else to help you. They will be okay for a few minutes whilst, as long as they're safe, you know they're in a safe space, you can deal with this nappy and then you can make sure that one is safe and then go to the other one. Don't worry about them waiting a few minutes for you. It, it, will, it won't harm them. They will learn that they just have to wait and then you come. And so long as a baby realizes, and I'm talking particularly about babies now, as so, so long as a baby does know that you do come, they won't get into a place of any kind of distress or fear. They might get a bit frustrated, they might be a bit impatient, might get a bit wound up, but it will just be a healthy, I'm trying to tell you that I need some help here, and that's all it will be. It won't be anything more than that, and you'll be like, yeah, I'll be right with you, you finish helping that one and then you see to the other one. It's ingrained in us. It's like we are wired to respond immediately. Baby's crying, quick, fix it. And it's what we do. Um, so it sometimes is important just for, to have this reminder of it's okay, my baby will be okay, I'll be right there. Because when you're dealing with two, they do learn to wait. And actually, it's so good for them. It teaches them um, that the art of waiting their turn. They do have to wait sometimes. Um, and actually it helps them to develop self-regulation. 
those self-regulatory skills will go on to help them and benefit them as they learn to develop the skills for falling to sleep and back to sleep. So right from those early stages, don't panic if you cannot be like dealing with both simultaneously it will be okay. So when they're going to sleep, if you are working through some kind of sleep training approach, maybe they're a little bit older and you have maybe toddlers and they're in two separate cots, you go to one, you do what you need to do there, go to the other, you do what you need to do there. If you alternate, you might be back and forth, sure. But just take a breath and take it one at a time and you help them and you reassure them and you will get there. Just be consistent in how you respond every single time. Okay, I hope this helps with those of you who have twins or triplets or more. Um, stick around because my next episode is going to be all about a routine, bedtime routine, when you have got more than one child, especially if you're juggling on your own and you're trying to do the bedtime routine for multiple children by yourself. Um, so come back and check out all my tips on that topic and I'll see you there. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. If you've liked anything about this episode, then please leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more episodes like this. If any of your friends would benefit from seeing this video, then please do share it with them using the hashtag the sleep nanny. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon.